Hi, I'm Adam. I'm here with my friend Susan, and we are at the cover conference at Notre Dame 2010. And uh, Susan's a participant. And Susan, you've been here a few times at cover. Oh, yeah. Can you can you tell me uh, why you keep coming back? Well, I could say one of the things I like most about cover is just a sense of community here. Yeah. It's you know, it's it's one of the few places in academia say that everyone is so friendly and. The sense of camaraderie is just amazing, but you know, I guess the major reason is mimetic theory is like one of those things that when I first encountered it, it just, I don't know, I was so drawn to it that it took over my life almost immediately. I know that sounds bizarre, but I, uh, I met a friend who, uh, he was a cover member at the time, and I was telling him just a life story, uh, how I felt scapegoated in this circumstance where I had to leave a job and it was, you know, it was a terrible feeling. I was sharing it and he said, I'm going to tell you something and he told me about Rene Girard and the scapegoat mechanism and uh, I said, oh my god, like that totally explains what yeah. happened to me and from there on out I couldn't get enough of mimetic theory so I came like the next cover conference I came and what I found when I came is that every session I went to and different conversations I had I kept having that aha moment mm -hmm. and so for me I actually have a website mm -hmm. and yeah you have the website nooutcast.org that's right great website can you tell me how you use mimetic theory uh, along with your website I, it's, it's really a mix of mimetic theory and theology mm -hmm. and I'll take Bible passages or I'll take movies or TV shows and I just apply the mimetic theory, you know, just one, one little bit of mimetic theory to whatever it is, you know, the finale of Lost, for yeah. instance, because I'm hoping that other people will have that aha moment that I get <laughs> when I was watching the finale. So that's you know that's pretty much what I do with it because I, I think mimetic theory is just so powerful and you can really I mean it can become addictive in a sense when you see it, how much it explains about human relationships and culture mm -hmm. that um, it's just it's just such a pleasure to to really apply it to all different scenarios yeah. well Susan it's a great website nooutcast.org go check it out it's great and uh, thanks for being with us thank you awesome